this video tutorial I will explain custom row mapper. Here you can see the employee table. It has uh, four columns: employee ID, name, age, and uh, salary. And uh, it has uh, two records. We will see how to get the first record and uh, formulate the employee object using uh, custom row mapper. Here I have defined the class uh, employee row mapper which implements uh, row mapper interface and provide implementation of uh, map row method. Inside map row method, we are creating uh, employee object and uh, using result set, getting uh, each column value and uh, assigning to the employee properties and uh, return the employee object. Here we are calling uh, query for object method of uh, JDBC template object and uh, passing the SQL. This is the SQL and uh, here we are passing the employee ID parameter and uh, passing the employee row mapper object. This method automatically calls uh, map row method and uh, returns the employee object. Here you can see pom.xml. Here we have defined string dependencies and MySQL dependencies. Here I have defined the class employee. It has four properties employee ID, name, age, and salary. Here I have defined the class uh, employee row mapper which implements uh, row mapper interface and uh, provide implementation of uh, map row method. Here I have defined the interface uh, employee DAO and uh, it has uh, one abstract method uh, find by employee ID. Here I have defined a class uh, employee DAO impl which extends uh, JDBC DAO support class and uh, implements uh, employee DAO interface and provide implementation of uh, find by employee ID method. This is a spring configuration file. Spring container read this uh, spring configuration file and uh, it creates a data source object. To create data source object, Spring Container needs to know driver class name, URL of the database, and uh, username and password of the database. And uh, once uh, data source object is created, it will be injected to employee DAO impl. Here I have defined the class uh, app. Here I have created application context object by reading a spring configuration file using getbean method of application context object getting employee DAO object from spring container and calling find by employee ID method and passing employee ID as 1. This method returns employee object that I am printing here. You can get uh, Java source code link for uh, each video 
in the description section of the video. Here you can see the description section. Click on uh, show more. And uh, here you can see the Java source code links. Click on uh, these links to get the Java source code.